like to not get shot at. Oh, you're friendly. All right. Who are you? Trash can Carla. I lost them. You're the vendor. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. Isn't Trash King? I think she's that vendor who's like always at Sanctuary. Okay, let's let's move on. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's infinite over here. Something's out there. So we've got trouble. the brotherhood it's okay I'll replace you mm, fusing cores I'll take another galling as you're sure I'll avenge you. They're all over me. Fucked up. I never miss. Well, shit. <laughs> the fat man. Why not? Good luck up there. That did a pretty good amount. Effective. Try to disarm you real quick. There we go. Handled. I'll take that. I'll take that. There we go. And you're pretty easy from here on. It's so fun. I love it. It's so good. They made it really engaging and interactive. That did it. Yeah, as much as I like playing the uh, I block them, block me, block them, block me game. Just 
just uh, gets a little old, you know? You guys are the ones who took the fat man in the face. Shit. Really don't do much damage because they're skull. Between their plasma resistance and this being an automatic weapon, really not doing much to them. Frag grenade might be able to finish him off. How's that for a one two? Hey. Where are they all skull? Fuck. Bunker Hill is ours. Hoping it can cripple an arm or something so she drops it. Good. That's what I was. Hoping to get. There we go. Still does okay damage when they block it, but it's still really obnoxious. So what have we got in levels? Expert locks. Cause there's a lot of safes and stuff like that that I can't open. So it's time to start getting some of that. you do that for us thank you I didn't I didn't do it for you I'm, I'm sorry to say ripped right through his torso holy shit that leaves just this guy How am I hidden? All right, whatever. Blam. Sneak attack. Somehow. None of them have the synth thing. <laughs> they don't have synth components. Fuck. <laughs> Were they not synths at all? Did my son lie to me? Father! Or son, whichever. I hear you, trash can Carla. This is like, God damn it, not this shit again. Yeah. Ooh, that one's legendary. I, I can't. Hold on. Come here. Over here. Got him. Reduces damage while blocking or sprinting. Ah! I got him! Finish him! Finish him! You got a Brotherhood of Steel, buddy. Well done. It's you and me, pal. Let's go get that Corsair. They're fucking surrounded. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. A recon high capacity gauze rifle. Gauze, gauze, whichever. I don't care. Taking it. It's recon, so it's got the badass scope. 
And it's high capacity, so it's got a larger clip. Magazine, whichever. Hmm. Brotherhood of Steel pulled off a fairly decent flanking maneuver on this. So, okay, hold on. What's the current objective? Okay, that's why I'm so confused, because I got these marked as well. And then speak with father. Oh, okay. Kill the courser, which... Yeah, that that is the courser over here that I already killed, right? I just, I don't have a check mark on it, so... Ooh, more of them! Need them. Neither of them are legendary, though. Fire. Hey, we can't have that minigun. That's Brotherhood of Steel property, you fucking sense. Oh, okay, we got him. Fucking yoink. Rat bastard. Oh man, a couple of them are dead. An attack dog? With heavy dog armor and a double dog collar. I'll take it. There's a lot of cool loot here. I like this area. This is great. Bunker Hill, you're awesome. We'll head back. Um, yeah, because it's got the, uh, the, kill the Kill the Courser thing still there, but he's not actually on the map anywhere. It's just talk to, talk to father. So we'll head to uh, the ruins of the CIT building here. And we'll talk to him, see what he wants. He's no doubt upset with me, or perhaps even disappointed. But I don't give a fuck. Shut up, son. Know your place. And I backhand him. Let's go ahead and weapons. You. Favorite. We'll replace our plasma sniper with that. The minigun. We got some ammo with it now, but not as much as I'd like. We really chew through the 5mm rounds. Like, holy hell, I need to find a, a large cache of 5mm somewhere. Because buying it for a cat per bullet... Ugh, sucks so hard. <sighs> Wish I could just, like, buy a pallet of 5mm rounds. It's like a whole, a whole skip of it. Like, I don't even know. Like, 20,000 5mm rounds for, like, 9,000 caps or something. I don't know how to get up to him. I don't know where he actually is. I think this might be right here. I think we're onto something here. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. That's not exactly true. Not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. I mean, it's shitty up here, but... Like, people will get by eventually. I mean, that's what the uh, Minutemen are all about. Kellogg called me the 
backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. I don't get why I would need a family member, bleh, family member's DNA. Because they wanted him because he was pre-war and young. He had like no exposure to radiation. So really any of us would have worked because we were all cryogenically frozen. Basically uh, any vault dweller at all are you following? would have worked. Really. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Well, technically to me, it was only like 10 minutes ago from the time that you were taken at the time I woke up rather than 10 years or well, like 60 years, something like that. Hmm. This really is a matter of importance. Was it worth it? I believe so. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Why couldn't I just be like, oh yeah, I ratted you out. You guys are wrong. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. And now he wants me to join him there? Oh yeah, the recon scope. Nice. So you could actually recon and it leaves the pip up on my HUD. That is cool, so I'm like tracking bitches. Oh shit! I'm still hidden. You heard nothing. It's nothing. Got her. 
the bullet's not bullet? I don't know. The projectile isn't quite instantaneous? Okay, it basically is. Yeah, we'll, we'll call that instantaneous. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. It's Kevin, bitch, left, right, and center. Show your face. Dude's coming out with like a mace. Wrench, maybe? They don't quite know where I am. I'm still caution. He's like, we're being shot from this direction, though. Uh. Well, they got fucking annihilated. This is a good sniper rifle gun. Sniper rifle. Gun. Sniper gun. It's a good gun. I like it. It's accurate. The projectile is pretty much instant. It shoots kind of slowly, but it gives me enough time to line up a shot. It's much faster than the bolt action because I can be lining up a shot while it's readying the next round, which is cool. You can't do that with the uh, the bolt actions. So, what are we doing? Attend the directorate meeting. It looks like I have to. Looks like I have to, so we'll go in and we'll do that, I guess. I can't sit in power armor, can I? Uh, let's leave it here, I guess. You know, make it to the. Ah, oh, I can't here. sit there. I think it's time we begin, sir. Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir... Are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I think that's when they're rolling out... ...like the next batch of, like, new synths. What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Well, I was wrong. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well... He is gone. 
While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, and because I'm overburdened, pop this back on for the additional charisma too, in case I need to do a speech check. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. Sean. I don't want to run this place. Are you so sure? You seem to have a natural talent for leading by example, getting things done. This will suit you. And I think we can both agree the Institute will need the guidance. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. You know, it actually just kind of dawned on me. I don't know if there is a main story anymore. Because the primary objective was finding my son. I have found my son and my son is dying. So, the end. But rather than just throwing up a the end, I don't know if... I don't know if there is a the end. Tradecraft failed. What was Tradecraft? Talk with Deacon. Oh right, the railroad. Yeah, the railroad's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so what do we got quest-wise? I mean, talk with Fillmore, sure. Mass fusion about the uh, the power thing, no doubt. Speak to the Brotherhood scribe. Secure settlement crops at Silmerville, right? <laughs> Talk to Piper. So, Piper, let me tell you. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I guess we'll keep on with this. Like, I'm. This is as close to a main story as I can be. 
I think you're on the other side of this, aren't you? Boom! Hi, how you doing? Dr. Fillmore. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Uh-huh. I need some details here. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Of course. That's why we're talking. Otherwise, you'd be up top already. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hands. I'm going with you. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I can handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. Hey, Brotherhood. Yeah. So I guess we'll just keep doing that. To Boston Airport now? The hell? I'm going to the Pred one. Unless Maxon's not on the Pred one anymore? I don't know. Dude moves around a lot. <laughs> 